Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is a channel for all Final Cut Pro post-production and editing skills. And this is our website. If you are into any Final Cut Pro plugins, there's some free and some you have to pay for, but just go check that out if you're interested. Today we will be learning about how to create a speed transition in Final Cut Pro. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we have our clips. So you wanna get a couple of clips. This is about nine clips here. So um, you can preferably do nine or more if you want. But what we're gonna do here is we are going to highlight all of the clips and we are going to press Control on the Mac and D. Control D on the Mac. I'm not sure what it is on Windows. And then you want to press 2, just depending on how fast you want it. I'll show you here in a minute how fast 2 goes. But uh, this is preferably how fast I want my um, speed transition to go. So when you press Enter, all those clips are now that length. So when I fast forward this or play my uh, clip back through, it's all fast now. What we're gonna do after that is we are going to highlight our clips again. Let's zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna go at the end of this clip and I'm gonna copy this. So on the Mac, Command C and then Paste, Command V. And I'm gonna do that again. And I'm going to do that one more time. And I can go back to the beginning of my timeline. And if I play this back, that's how fast that goes. Pretty good. You can slow it up if you want. If you would like to slow it up, you can just highlight these and press uh, Control D and choose another speed. Um, you can go as high as you want or as low as you want. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, but yeah, this is the effect and a little extra just because you guys stayed and watched the video. Um, if you have an adjustment layer in your Final Cut library, and if you don't, you can just go to Google and you can search free Final Cut Pro adjustment layer. Um, you can just grab that and you can add that about on the fourth clip and once you have your adjustment layer um, you can trim it down I'm just gonna cut right here and trim it down and then you're gonna go to your effects panel and you're gonna type in directional and directional is right here so you're gonna add the directional on the adjustment layer like that so make it look even more realistic going through the speed transition. So when I play this back, looks pretty good right there. The blur makes it look even more realistic. So yeah, that's how to create a speed transition. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please subscribe and Consider liking the video. We will be dropping a lot more content soon, so be ready for that. I appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, thank you. Bye.